since the beginning of the year. This morning has been on a mission to support the millions of women in the UK that are experiencing... <laughs> I will get it out. It's a, it's a... Debilitating symptoms from the menopause. And another show that's raising awareness of the topic is Coronation Street, where viewers have watched 20 year old Faye Windus come to terms with her premature menopause diagnosis. In just a moment, we'll be speaking to her on screen boyfriend, Colson Smith, about taking on the tough storyline. But first, let's take a little look at their journey so far. Faye, you have something called premature ovarian failure. I can't have the menopause, I'm only 20. Does this mean I can't have any more kids? I do want to have kids one day. That doesn't mean that I want them with anybody else. You look exhausted. So I just need a good night's sleep. I think you need a bit more than that. No offence, Craig, but I know my own symptoms without you mansplaining them to me. Why are you telling Carla to go easy on me? I was worried about him. Well, don't go talking to people behind my back. I was just trying to help. You haven't. You've made things worse. What are your favourite? You've ordered for me again, have you? What, to speed down doing menopause, Curry? What have I done? So I stink. I've got two black eyes, and I'm going to be covered in hair in no time, but we're all good. No, you're you twisting it now. Just stay away from me. And Coulson is joining us now. Good morning, Coulson. Thanks good very morning. much for being here. Morning. Thanks for having me. Not at all. So first things first, how do you think Craig has handled the situation? I think um, Craig has handled the situation in what he personally thinks is the right way to do it. I think what Faye really needs in this situation is Craig just to be there for her and just to listen and just be steady away. But Craig's kind of got carried away in trying to be the best boyfriend he can possibly be. And I think at times he doesn't realise that he's actually not being helpful. Yeah. Yeah, but I think it's what's, what's sort of so good about this storyline is that rings so true yeah. to so many different situ you know, so many different relationships because... You don't, there's so much we still don't know about the menopause, particularly for men, right? Yeah. Um, on Monday's episode, they had a big row, didn't they? Uh, do you think this is going to affect their relationship? It, it's hard to say because I guess from Craig's point of view, he is just trying to be the absolute best boyfriend he can be. And in doing that, he's being patronising in the way he's trying to support Faye. And it ends up with him basically saying, look, I I'm going to take myself out of this situation because I, I can't do right from wrong and I'm only trying to be helpful and I know I'm not being helpful. So he kind of takes a back step and goes to live with his parents for a little bit and gives Faye space. And, you know, is that what she needs or does she need her boyfriend just to be a, a better boyfriend? I no one really knows. Oh, no. Do you know they're my favourite couple? Are they I'm really? Like, this can't end. Oh, now I feel bad because it can't I, I, end. I'm about to do a spoiler. Um, previews of the show have shown Faye kissing neighbour Michael. I think Faye. we've actually got the clip. <laughs> So this is where you've disappeared off to. I needed a breather. Do you blame me? How many power ballads can one man sit through? I love fairy lights, me. They make the world a shinier, happier place. Just like you. Yeah. Well, you're always the cheerful. I love working with you. Yeah, the same. Oh. Why don't you fancy me? Um. It's not that, Faye, you're drunk. And it, it won't be right, and like I said, you... Oh, it's the menopause, isn't it? You think I'm an old lady before my time? How do you think this is going to affect the relationship? Spill! That's the first time I've seen that. So seeing Ellie do some drunk acting, it's, it's a bit of a treat. I've enjoyed that spoiler. <laughs> um, I guess the big question is, will Craig ever find out, you know, yeah. if, if Faye's made a pass on Michael? Um, will it affect the relationship? Personally, I, I think for Craig and Faye, in that moment, I think on reflection, Faye might actually realise that she does want Craig and Craig does want her. And the best thing for them is to just get together and, and get through it. So it might almost be that light bulb moment as if to say, for all of Craig's imperfections, he does want the right thing for me. He is really trying, although he's doing it in completely the wrong way. But maybe we should just have a 
conversation about it. Absolutely. She got herself in a little bit of a pickle there. Michael was very respectful then. I, I, I thought dealt with it very well. thought he dealt with that very well. Dealt with it very okay. well. Um, so, life... Oh, oh, <laughs> Sorry. Oh, 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 was that me supposed to go, no? <laughs> but you were ready, Marv. She was ready oh, wow. to say. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently so. Um, you, Colson, though, so obviously we spoke a lot about Corey. You have a busy yeah. life away from the cobbles too. Tell us a little bit about your podcast. Yeah, so I do a podcast with um, Jack P. Shepard and Ben Price, who play um, Nick Tilsley and David Platt in Coronation Street. And we, we're into our sixth series now. We kind of just, you know, kept churning them out. And the podcast is called Sofa Cinema Club. And it's basically, it started on the premise of them wanting to educate me on films. And now we just sit down every week, we watch a film and we get into the studio and we talk about it. And it's got a lot more to it as well because we're talking about things that are going on in our everyday life and then we're relating them to the movie that we've watched this week. So it, it really is great fun and the three of us love doing it because it's something that we can do as mates and yeah. just yeah. enjoy that's completely different to the day job. I like oh, that. It's I like that. Oh, Hanging well. out with your friends and having a chat and doing it for work. I mean, win win. Why not? <laughs> Colson, yeah. look, Coronation Street continues every day and it's on tonight at 8 o'clock. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Cheers. lovely. Not Take at all. Care. See you later. I kind of, you know, that, obviously nice. when we talk to people in their houses, I love the colour of his wall. <laughs> I literally, any time you see people, I'm like, oh, they, I Colson, need... where's your paint from? Yeah, where's that paint from? Is it? What shade is it? <laughs> Lovely shade. I'm sure, I'm sure someone could send him a message. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs>